I've come, or uh, we came as the high priest of the good things that are now already here. We went through the greater and more perfect tabernacle that is not made, made with human's hands, that is to say, is not a part of this creation. He did not enter by means of the blood of goats and calves, but he entered the most holy place once for all by his own blood. Thus, obtaining eternal redemption the blood of goats and bulls and the ashes of a hyper sprinkled on those who are ceremonially unclean sanctify them so that they are outwardly clean how much more then will the blood of mine who through the eternal man who through the eternal i am the spirit who have offered myself unblemished to whom you called. Hi, Elohim. Elohim and God differences a man. Elohim is a man. What you call there is the unblemished child of man. Cleans conscience from acts that lead to death, so that you may serve the living God. Who is the living God? I am the resurrection. You know, the resurrection of the living and the dead, meaning to say humans, He first covenant, I second and the last. You know, He the first, the last, I the first. It's like this in the beginning. The first covenant was when I freed you out of Egypt. The second covenant, when he been through all the perfect tabernacle. Who are they? Perfect through all the perfect tabernacle, what it was. Father went through the porks. You know? Father went through the porks as the perfect tabernacle that is not made with human hands. The pork humans not made with human hands. That is to say it's not part of this creation. Why it's not part of this creation? Because war in the beginning was God's made. You know? That is why it, when I ask uh, Abraham as I become him, that is how we pull each others. I become them. They first go down for them to receive the Holy Spirit and I to become next. When after pulling them, I become them. Just like in this end. After I pulled you all out from the land of Egypt, land of the false Jerusalem, and the land of the Aramaic, I am here. You know? Tabernacle, the more perfect, the greater and more perfect. He went through the greater and more perfect tabernacle that is not with human hands. That is the children's of the apostles that went into, you know, the what Herod killed? Went into the porks. You know, humans, they went into the porks. Porks is what you call the pigs. Went into the porks. We call it porks, humans. As he whom you called Lucifer is the high priest, he too is whom you called Satan the Jesus. Because they remember there is two, always two, made in pair. Like the heaven and earth, like the demons and the possessed, and like. The satans of the earth and the imitations. The angels can imitate anyone as abhorring because you committed the sins. You know? 
You mortal committed the sins. But he entered the most holy place once for all by his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. What is it? I was humans. I was. The first was the blood of the goats and bulls, and ashes of heifer sprinkled on those who are ceremonially unclean, sanctify them so that they are outwardly clean. That is to a symbol of the Holy Spirit, holy water. That is sprinkled by the priest into the human so they may be clean and sanctified outwardly. For them to cleanse their conscience from acts that lead them to death. That is why I was resurrected, humans. Why? Because my conscience was clean from anything. You know? So that you may serve me. That I can't stand. Because I can't stand iniquity. I can't stand in front of the priest at those times. Why? Priest, before they go inside, doing their mass, they cleanse themselves. But now, when I go there, you must, he's not letting me when I am the spirit. When I am. You know why? Because I should be levitating with them. The holy gods, the angels, the arcs, that every time there is a mass, they are floating above the priest, the sacristans, and etc., etc., etc. While he is the one being guarded. You know, whom you call Jesus. You know? So that the iniquity cannot touch his body. You know, why humans? Because not all in that house are cleansed. As it too, it stated in the book. In here, it is too stated as a mustard and, mustard and the seeds. You know? Who through the eternal spirit offered my body to him. To I. You know? Acts from conscience. So that you won't be lead to death. Do you understand humans that uh, the saying that... Uh, when you are very, very bad, you'll die. Um, uh, you'll stay. The very, very, uh, the saying of the old ancient is this. When you are very good, your life is being taken. When you are very bad, you'll stay. Why humans? So that the good will stay good, as it's stated in Revelation. For the good will stay good, the righteous will stay righteous, and the holy will stay holy. That is why I have died before I did this preaching. Why? Because to keep me holy. You know? To keep me holy. Because humans, to preach the word of God, you have to be holy before you be sanctified. Why? Because I am not priest. I am not priest, as it is only for the called ones to be priest, to do the gospel, the misal. It is their job because it is the blood of Christ that sanctifies them. Why? For this reason, Christ is the mediator of a new covenant that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance that he has died as a ransom to set them free from the sins committed under the first covenant. What is the first covenant? Buddhism. You know? Buddhism was the first covenant and then it becomes Christ the Messiah. That's when we start the shepherding time leading into the true church of Him. 
who sent God. Who sent God? I am your God, your Elohim sent. You know? A heifer, a heifer, the blood of the goats and bulls and the ashes of heifer sprinkled on those who are ceremonially unclean, sanctify them so that they are outwardly clean. This is to sanctifying what I am doing spiritually. For him to sanctify you if you are not still sanctified in the holy blood of Christ, that is the meaning of the Catholic Church. Because it is him who is baptizing and I is the one writing behind every priest. That is the covenant, humans. That is why only the Catholic Church is written in it. And I've stated to you that not all the thinner in that place are saved. Because that too is stated in the book of life you call Bible. You know? It is stated in the Bible as well. That is the seed of the mustard and the yeast. It's all stated in there, the parables of the mustard and the seed. Which is, when I find it, I'll tell you. You know, because I've been through all this, humans. I've been through all this. It is about the, the parable of the weeds and the parables of the mustard seed and the yeast. Which I will explain to you further.